Well, please the name of the Lord. Uh, may God bless you all. May God do you good for uh, this very early morning. Hallelujah. We are here because of our God. We have done as well to make us wake up. And we are well because of Him. Hallelujah. This early morning, we have our morning uh, sermon service. And we have to continue with it fully. And we will be blessed by God and we will be done good by our Almighty God in heaven. Hallelujah. I want to talk this word of God uh, in Exodus 4.24. Exodus 4.24. Go there. And you shall be blessed you so much. Exodus 4.24. And uh, it talks very well about our life, about our journey, even in the spiritual one. And uh, all things will be good. Exodus 4, that one is chapter 4 from verse 24. It says this, it is a, and you listen here, uh, brethren, you should listen here very well. Exodus 4, 24, it says this, At a raging place, at a raging place, on the way, the Lord met him, okay, the Lord met him, and sought to put him to death. Who is this uh, God is talking about here? He is talking about Moses. And you well remember that God well prepared Moses for a long time, many years. And uh, the, the God's plan was to send the Moses to, me, to, to Egypt to rescue his people from the hand of Pharaoh. And remember very well that uh, it came a time after being well prepared, after being ready, the Moses one day, he, he realized that the day has come, it is today, like today on Sunday, or tomorrow on Monday, or last week or many years, we have left many days behind. He woke up, and he took his children, he took his wife, Zipporah, and he started the journey. Hallelujah. To where God wanted him to be and to go. And that one is Egypt. The word is saying that on the way, because they started the journey in the morning hours, they went the whole day a uh, very good journey. They, they, they came to a place where they had to rest. And they rest in a lodging somewhere. And after all, reason here, men and women, God himself, not the devil. He was uh, he met Moses and his family and he was about to kill Moses. Moses was ready and prepared fully by God to go to Egypt and do the very good work and move the Israelites there into a slavery. The word of God says well that he met Moses, not his wife, not his children. And he assaulted to kill him. He was about to kill Moses. Let me ask you a question. Is it not the God who, 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 who sent Moses to Egypt? Yes. Eh? Was it not the God? And why on the way he want to kill Moses? Why on the way God want to kill Moses? Hallelujah. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Hallelujah. Why is God about to kill Moses? Listen here of the reason why Moses was about to be killed by God. 25 says this. Then Zipporah took a fruit and cut off her son's foreskin and touched Moses' feet with it and said, Suare, you are a bridegroom of bread to me. Hallelujah. Listen here very well. Zipporah, the wife of Moses, when he saw the teacher that his husband Moses now was about to be killed by God, and God was serious on that issue. God was so serious. The wife of Moses, that one is Zipporah, did what Moses refused to do earlier before he started the journey. Are you getting that? 
There is an issue. There is a sacrifice that was to be offered by Moses before he left Egypt. Uh, before he left the place to Egypt. He refused because he was strong spiritually. And he was strong Moses. Even he was given a stick. So, and that stick, Moses could make it a snake. Down there, the stick and became a snake. In, 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 so he has nothing else to the remaining. And he took his wife and, and children and he left the journey. All the way, God tried and he was about to kill Moses. In the spiritual world, I want to tell you people this way. Because you have been taught by our Bible study teacher that you have to submit to the authority. Tell your neighbor, you have to be ready to submit. I greet him in that drug words. Be ready to submit, my friends. To the other. Hallelujah. Why Moses is dying? It is because he was very spiritually. Moses was a preacher. He was a preacher as you are preaching here in this church. Hallelujah. And let me tell you, I might love you so much. By the way, I love you so much. This church, I love everybody. Even if uh, sometimes I normally use 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 cane, I don't know, I know I normally cane people. Tell your neighbor here you can be cane a little. Uh, greet him somehow and more. You can be caned here. I normally cane people. Yes, you are. As you used to be caned in primary, others in secondary. I have the power and authority to cane people, and I normally cane. Uh, and you can see somebody is not in the church because I say it, I say it, I say it. I cannot uh, kill you with a, with, a physical, with a physical stick. I cannot agree. Well, uh, okay. Do you think I can, I can uh, tell you to sleep here? Whom I can tell you to sleep is here, here is my Samuel. My, my son here. Or my daughter Naomi. And it is not one time I normally tell them at the home. Sleep here. I cannot knock him in the head or in the chest or where. Somewhere is sleep here. Yeah, and I sometimes somebody or now may, 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 may think I'm having jokes. Many times they normally think it's jokes. But finally, uh, he hear himself he is having three, three, four canes around his back. Why? Oh, yeah. I'm a preacher who normally came, and when it comes to Cain, it is to Cain. Three or four. And many people may, may go home and start telling you, do you hear what the referee said? I said. Hey, this is, is an altar, and you are bringing jokes around here, around the church. Why don't you be Cain? A good father is the one who disciplines two children. And I want you, you to ask your neighbor, have you ever been disciplined here? Uh, you ask your neighbor, have you ever been killed here? Until you start saying you are not going to come to the church because of killing. Even at the school, you are being killed. Chairman, we were being killed, chairman, until you start saying no school again, even if it is not a shot. See your surua? Outside there is where you are knowing this is, this is a surua here. How is I there? You say that at the school, primary, secondary, you moved out of school. Now those people who are those who are who used to go out of school and uh, they strike a little. Even in the church they strike. If at all they are not well looked at, they can strike. Hallelujah. Uh, uh, just ask your neighbor, how are you behaving at the school? How do the teacher knows you? You know, there's a time I go to some of your teachers here. And I ask Kerubo, how was Kerubo behaving in this school? Hallelujah. <laughs> Moses was about to be killed by God. Why? Because of jokes while starting the journey. The wife saw that my husband is going to be killed, nothing else. And he did what Moses refused to do earlier. When he was starting the journey. And in that time, it was very painful. He took a, a stone, a stone, 
shows up a little and he is circumcised him. That blood, he touched with, he touched it with, uh, uh, he touched the, the feet of Moses with that uh, piece of, with that blood. And uh, God left Moses. I want to say what? In this church, there is, uh, this is what I am supposed to tell you because if I, if I hide you, uh, one day you shall sort of tell God, you are never told me this. In this journey, we are going day in, day out until Jesus will return. There is a side of prayers, there is a side of fasting, there is a side of where you require to read the Bible, there is a side of where you require to go to fellowship, to come to church the way you have came, you have used your body, that way, that way. But there is a time you require to use your resources. You require to offer sacrifice before the law, before starting any journey. Hallelujah. And the church, there are so many kind of sacrifices we normally offer here. Hallelujah. This church is a very complete church, was J. Grace is a very complete church. Do you know this church each and every year we took return to the government? Do you know that? And very soon you might see government here. Uh, there is an issue there of churches to be visited by the government and to see how churches are being land outside there. Do you know there are preachers who, who, who came to a point of seeing as if church is a business? As if church can be land as if it's an individual or as if it's a family, it's a family issue. Hallelujah. So chairman and secretary and treasurer in this church, you should be always ready. Uh, those books, you normally deal with them there. There's a time a government can come here. Whether you are allowed or not, you should, pre, you should take them out and give them to look after those books. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And they normally look at the register, the members number one. How many members does the religion have in this church? They will not say, they will not come here and count you the way you did. They look the book, whoever is registered. You are supposed to register here for church to be registered in there. Tell your neighbor, get that. I am sorry, I greet him and you tell him, get that. You should register here for, you to, for the church to be registered. Are you getting that? And you have to ask your neighbor in this church, are you registered, remember? Uh, are you hearing? You are hearing? You will ask him again. Are you a registered member? The time with uh, the time with the work of the people, so we are the come Hallelujah. Lack of registration, lack of respect before the Lord. Moses was about to be killed by God because in the church, I have told you that there is a side of. Prayer, fasting, Bible, going to fellowship, and all of that. But there is a line of sacrifices which you are required to use your money and your resources. Hallelujah. This church cannot, be, as it is going and it is growing so much, we should know that it is not only prayers I'm using here. I normally offer sacrifices. I, we, we were, we, all, of, all of you were here on uh, 6th February eh? and uh, the, the, the canon was here and he was not here for another business. You saw him, the time he was here, you, you saw the money he carried here, that man. A good, a whatever, a whatever, or, 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 or Sadaka Hapa. He carried everything. Why? Because Emmanuel, where we, we had now, remember that room, we, we had no that room. And this church required no prayer again, required no fasting again, required nothing else. It required, yes, we prayed and we prayed, then it required a sacrifice for us to continue the way we are continuing. In your family, in your business, everywhere you are in your life, if you rely in the prayers in all corners, you will be as a poor, and as a poor, and as a poor, and as poor the way you want to be poor. In God, we normally say, give the little you have. Tell your neighbor, get that. 
And I like to visit the evangelists and pastors in this church. Evangelists, pastors in this church, servants and senior servants. Do you think I can laugh with you people? And one day, many of you here will be, will be many, some of you here, will be released out outside there. They will be given a church. And you will know one thing. If there is pastors in this church of Emmanuel, even if it's not here, outside there, God has said not to them. Even this morning, I have went somewhere and I have found a pastor instead of harboring and submitting. He is just continuing with his normal work even today. Lack of submitting to authority, it will bring you a lot of problems. And somebody, somewhere, a lot of problems. You ask your neighbor, are you getting that? Hey, uh, just ask your neighbor, are you getting that? And you tell him again, everything is not a prayer. It is not everywhere you require prayer. Yeah. It is not everywhere when you kill the budgeries, you require fasting. It's not everywhere you require Bible. It comes a time where you require sacrifice. Hallelujah. The Moses wife took a knife and a sharp one, and he do and he do the necessary. 26 says this. So let he let he okay, so he let him alone. He let him alone. It was then that she said, she said, a bridegroom of blood because of the Sakam season. Hallelujah. Tell your neighbor, this journey is very painful. Tell your neighbor that this journey is very painful. It is paining. There is other things you have to do. You know, you hear pain. Because you see a lot of money in the church, register, tithing, uh, and giving, all of that. It's a lot of work. And sometimes it is painful. But it is painful because, like today, there is a woman here in this church who their husbands have never taken what we call dowry. Have never taken dowry. Wait, do you think you will live without the, uh, your husband taking dowry? Do you know there, is a, there will come a time where God will, will make you take that dowry by force? Do you know that you people? Munajua hivyo. Kuna wakati utafosiwa kufanya chaguru. Muna nani mutakuwa muna cheka na Jehovah? Do you think you love with God? These are the things you should be hard to do in your family. Because you come a time and uh, you will pass through many things. Because of not sabo me, submit to those parents. You saw me calling my father here. The time I called here, my father, although he did not come, my, my mom was the one who came. Wajari, evangelist. Do you know I, before they came, my father, I had made him a suit. The, the 6th of February, my father had a new suit, even if he did, he did not come. My mother had a new clothes. On the side of my wife, I did so, my friend. Wajari. On top of the sacrifice you did here, and you offered it to God, there was a lot of that. And you wait here and you drink. Now, who, was ask, who was asking the money here to give money that day? Who was given an envelope? Eh? It is in this church I, 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 it is in this church I heard that uh, somebody can be, can be opening a house. And uh, while opening a house, can you call many people with an intention of being given man? Is that biblical? Is that biblical? Hey, well, ma'am, I'm about to. When you are opening your house, did we give you money? Did we give you money? Why did it? Now, now, somebody went on a way when you are moving out of your family in your house there. There is somebody who was complaining. Uh, we have left that, that house that TV. We were opening the house and somebody link of an envelope to be given by people, by, by, by people, by CG congregation, by hotel. Uh, you, are, you are not, a, you, 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 are, you feel to understand what kind of a man is this. Because there's a time you offer your sacrifice before the law without engaging other people. For them to carry your pro problems away. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Ask your neighbor from the time he entered in Emmanuel, how many sacrifices has he or he, he or she offered? Or ask him that way, how many sacrifices have you offered? Are you registered in this church? All of that thing you have to do them because it is big, big, so that God can be able to bless you out there. there. Care for the Lord now. Care for the Lord now. Thank you, Joshua. May God bless you.